bipolar disorder and the desire to buy. So when I'm stable, I can go into a bookstore and I'll look and I'll see the things and look at the titles and enjoy myself and think, oh, that looks like a good book to read. This one would be interesting. And then I can go to my danger area, which is here, which is the jur- oh, look at that one. Oh, green journal. Oh, look. And my mind, when I'm stable, will say, you have 50 journals at home. You don't need these. You don't need anything. But when I am manic, this becomes sort of a candy shop. The colors are brighter. There's so many books. There's so many possibilities. And what happens is that I then end up buying. So how do I fight this? I'm going to turn this around and start talking to you directly. The way I fight this is by knowing what my manic symptoms are. And for me, books, pens, notebooks, etc. are really rough when I'm manic. They're like beautiful treasures that I have to have. One way I combat this when I'm manic is that I don't carry around a lot of money with me. I don't have cards. I allow myself to look, to enjoy myself, to see beautiful things, to fantasize about what I could buy or what would be fun. And I've taught myself not to buy it. On some days, yes, it's hard. But right now, while I'm dealing with mania, I know that this kind of place could help me drop a hundred bucks really easily. So by having my health cards, by having a plan in place where I know what mania looks like, I know what I need to be doing, I know what is healthy for me, it means that I can actually walk out of a store without having bought something. So I still sort of get the manic fix of being manic, but thank heavens, I'm able to walk outside back to my life without having spent any money.